up YouTube it's your girl Riley Celine and welcome back to my channel so I'm just gonna jump right into it so this video is definitely gonna be me telling you a story that I've been holding on for dear life but I feel like this is good content and the people need to know so I'm gonna give you guys what the people need to know so anyway the only people who know this story is my family and like my immediate circle so welcome to the circle people because y'all about to figure out what i'm talking about in three two one so basically this story time is going to be about the time that i got played by an nfl player i said it in my defense in my defense i was young i was like if this happened two years ago so i was like 19 years old i was just like you know i was just living life but you're gonna know my side of the story very shortly so basically, I'm just going to give you guys a rundown, like a little history about me. So I live in Los Angeles, and basically out here, if you don't play ball, then you gang bang. And same for girls. So like, I was in cheer, and so I grew up in the sports world. I grew up around football players, basketball players. I was just my world. I've been cheering since I was eight years old, all the way to like, you know, a high schooler. So, so my first boyfriend was a football player. It was just bound for me to end up, you know, with somebody like that. Fast forward, I ended up with somebody like that. So it all started on Instagram. He slid into my DMs and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Let me entertain it. I wasn't talking to nobody at the time and it was just like, why not, you know? And me and my friends always make this joke, like we need to stop dating the why nots because people just be coming in and we just like, hey, why not? Like, I'm not doing nothing, but no, I should have listened to my gut feeling and I should have just been like, don't mess with him. we exchange numbers moving on so he gets my number and we're on the phone and stuff and he was telling me like how he wants something serious you know he's looking for a relationship he's ready to settle down meanwhile I'm 19 years old I'm not trying to do all of that especially with him you know I was just like why not you know okay so he's speeding me on this like yeah I want a relationship da, da, da. so me and him end up talking and it was cool like we would talk every day i knew his schedule you know i knew when he was at the facility i would be like it was the vibe so eventually he invited me to a football game so i was like okay yeah i'm gonna bring my friend so he got his tickets to the game you guys go watch that video it's on our youtube channel yeah so i went to the football game and it was cool i was sitting next to his family and stuff so you know it was a good experience the game was boring as fuck i fell asleep <laughs> so after the game we went out to dinner i met the family and it just seems like everything was going good okay everything i was chilling it was we wasn't doing too much we was vibing like he lives far from me so i was traveling and you know i was just doing way too much that I shouldn't be doing i was just doing way too much period okay so i was pretty much over there every day like spending the night and that was my dude so i thought so time goes on and you just know when like one i was the type of person that i didn't speak up like i noticed little things and i seen signs that it was other women like you know i i see it we see everything but it's like i felt like what am i gonna say and now looking back at it, i should have said a lot it was a lot of stuff that needed to be said and discussed because like he wasn't shit. like he literally was messing with every girl and i was just so eventually I snapped out of it and then we just fell off you know we just fell back and it wasn't like we ended on bad terms or anything it was just more so like a mutual thing like you know you know when you hang out with somebody and you just feel like okay this is our time like this is you know our time is up that's that was the feeling that I had the last time I hung out with him mind you I wasn't even 21 yet so I don't even know what he was doing when he was going out strike number one so i didn't know nothing what was going on at the clubs you know i'm just sitting at home when well, my life is passing me by <laughs> like literally just sitting there I, I didn't speak up but i knew when it was time to go and i was out of there you know so anyway going back so the last time we hung out like it was mutual because at that time he was traveling back and forth for the football games because it was during football season so he was in and out of town and it was just like I was working and, and the vibe wasn't there like I clearly felt like it was somebody else 
a woman's intuition is always right. Like, even when I was with him, it was just something about it that was like, who you belong to? Who you put? Who you pulling up on? Who you sending down, down? Whatever. That last time I hung out with him, I really felt like that. Like, so who, who is she? Because you just know. So me and him, we hung out on Christmas, and it was cool, and that was the last time we hung out. So after that, me and him was done, and we was cool. Sometimes I was like, hey, how are you doing? Like, you know, we'll have those conversations, but it was never nothing serious. Like, I never, I didn't go back over there. So months went by, like two, three months went by, me and him have not talked like that. And I get this mysterious notification on my Instagram, and my Instagram is public. So I'm like, okay, who is this? Girl, girl, I get a comment under my picture talking about, um, leave my man alone, you a hoe, he don't want you no more. Leave my man alone? Who? I, like, at that time, I, I legit was not talking to anybody, so I was really confused. I'm like, okay, she must be crazy. She comments on another picture, yeah, leave, I'm gonna call him. Devon, his name gonna be Devon. Yeah, leave Devon alone. I'm his girlfriend. Who like you're a homewreck, this and that. Mind you, like I said, me and Devon have not talked previously. The last time we talked was in December on Christmas. It was freaking February. Devon, who? Who's Devon? I've been moving on, girl. So yeah, she's commenting on my picture, so I'm just deleting the comment because like that's not who I am, that's not my image. I'm not that type of person that is gonna be going under people's pictures and arguing. Like, no, I have no enemies. And if you're my enemy, then you're a hater. Like, so yeah, she commented all of that. So I get on live because I want to test the theory. I'm like, okay, let me get on live and see what pops up. Sure enough, this same Fed account, first off, it was a Fed account and I didn't even tell y'all this, but that whole day I kept getting like mysterious accounts like watching my Instagram. It was like five different accounts, but we did have one mutual person, Devon. So I'm like, okay, clearly this is one of Devon's, one of Devon's little thing things. But I was just confused because me and Devon haven't talked since December, it's February. Like, I'm done with Devon. <laughs> so anyway, I get on live, and the girl gets on the live, and she's, like, cursing me out. Like, he don't want you. Stop blowing him up. You're a hoe. You're this. You're that. Um, he been over you. This is my man. Like, just saying crazy stuff. So I'm like, you will comment under my picture. You get on my live. <laughs> what is a girl to do? I start going back and forth. For I'm talking my shit, and... I get off live because I'm like this is not me I don't want nobody to be get on my live and they see like I'm going back and forth with the freaking fed account so I got off live I get these DMs now she just came at me so foul this girl said you're a hoe you're a rat you're ugly um, she sent me pictures of myself when I was at the football game so that really that completely threw me off guard like now I'm scared who's taking pictures of me like now it's a problem and then I was ignoring her. I was just laughing like, okay, this is a joke. Like, I don't even talk to Devon anymore. Like, you literally can have Devon. And then she started bringing my family into it. So now it's like, now it's like, go time. Now I'm really going to argue back with you. So I started giving her what she wanted. Yes, this is my dude. Who are you? You were not in the picture. Me and him been talking. I sent her screenshots of us and everything. Meanwhile, this me and this man really had a whole legit thing. And like I said, I am done with Devon. You can have Devon. So anyway, she kept talking reckless. So eventually, I was screenshotting and I started sending it to Devon. And this man really, this is where he had me messed up. The moment I knew Devon was in shit. I knew Devon was in shit. But this is really the cherry on top the check mark i sent him the screenshot i said can you please tell your girl to leave me alone like we do not mess with each other you know like basically like tell her to leave me alone like it was just too much and so now i hit him up and he gonna tell me oh you probably the one behind the fake account anyway and i got my lawyer on call that I'm 
harassing myself. You mean to tell me that I make all these fake accounts and I'm harassing you and you a coward? I'm literally telling you like, can you please control what's yours? One, you already a liar because you was messing with this person throughout the whole time that me and you was even messing around. And two, I didn't even bring that up. My whole point was leave me out of it because I don't even deal with you. And he gonna say that somebody was blowing up his phone saying like, it's Riley, who knows me? Like, that's a lie. Like. I wasn't calling your phone because you were blocked. I was like, done. Done. I'm a, I was on 10, okay? I'm the type of person, okay, I'm gonna have somebody come beat you up. But I was like, okay, let me calm down. All of a sudden, she switched up. She started sending me pictures of him. And she was like, so you and Devon really were a thing? And I'm like, yeah. Like, I, yes, I have pictures at his house. We have messages. Like, we really are a thing. Like, I'm sorry to tell you that. And she was like, oh, well, we've been together for six years. And six years six years me and him but just, he was just at my house like he didn't say nothing about nobody you know so it's just like a slap in my face when she was going after me when she was like really saying foul stuff about me i screenshotted it and i put it on twitter and i was like this girl is crazy like dead serious why did a human being another human being mention me on twitter and said i don't know who you are but this same girl is harassing me we gonna call this human being testimony. She said, I don't know who you are, but this same girl's harassing me. So in my head, I'm like, oh, it's a whole nother bitch. I'm like, how, how many, I'm thinking how many of us is it? Because if she's harassing you, that means you used to mess with Devon. But I wasn't even thinking like, okay, I was over Devon. My whole thing was like, dang, like this girl is really crazy. And so she, I was like, DM me. So she DM me on Twitter and she said that the girl has sent her a fake subpoena and like like a fake um, restraining order. It was just something like a fake restraining order. And I was like, wow, she's really crazy. Like, that's crazy. And I was like, so you were messing with Devon? And she's like, it wasn't serious, but we were like talking. So I'm like, okay. I don't care. <laughs> I was just like, okay. And that was that. So that was my living proof, but like, okay, Devon really is not shit. But now he has this girl going crazy over him and she's attacking each and every one of us. It's one thing for you to not be shit, but be shit by yourself. If I was just content in my space and then all this negativity start coming my way because of Devon, you provoke this craziness. And now I'm getting caught up in a rapture, rapture because you weren't honest and you're grown. I'm 19 years old, but she was feeding me all these lies. Like, yeah, I want to be serious. I want to have a relationship. I was the one that was like. So anyway, the girl ended up changing up and began. She was like, yeah, like me and Devon, I can't believe he done this to me. Like I've been together with him for six years and I'm moving out here. So I'm like, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Why are you even doing all of that? Go back home. Because Devon is going to keep doing the same thing. It's like, okay, well, he been with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. He been with all of us. Like, you're not the only one. Like, he's very manipulative. He'll make you feel like you did something wrong. Like, he tried to manipulate the situation when I told him to leave me alone. He's crazy, girl. These men be crazy. And it's like, these athletes, that's too much. Like, y'all too much. I understand that women throw themselves at you, but it's like, at what point do you say, this is gross? <laughs> at what number of female do you say, okay, I am nasty? What point do you say, like, I need to stop? You know? I'm good, you good. If you're going to continue to be with Devon, kudos to y'all. I want to be out of it. So that happened. We stopped talking that was it a couple weeks later she dms me like you are fake you trying to steal him once you realize that they signed him um he got a, he signed a new deal i don't even know <laughs> i didn't see nothing on tmz i didn't see nothing on that sports in the bell i don't i didn't know that he signed a new deal congrats like you just told me that just like leave me alone because at this point i'm like pull up to my house we could fight we could fight you can literally have Devon. Why do you want to fight with me? You can have Devon. Okay, so that happened. 
everything just kind of died down and Devon ended up going his way, I ended up going my way. We're gonna fast forward to now. Me and Devon actually talked recently and he still ain't shit. <laughs> so he still doesn't own up to his shit. So I, I would never date an NFL player again. Like and that type of stuff I can't deal with. Like just girls and people harassing you over a nigga. Have him. Have him love, have him love. Cause he's still hitting me up two years later. But I don't want him. So yes long story short niggas ain't shit niggas always come back and bitches need to hold their ground okay when it's time to leave and you notice that a man is not treating right leave and that's my story time thank you guys for listening make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend